We have the KitchenAid Professional 5 Plus Series Mixer up and out of the box now. It's quite a bit larger than the KitchenAid Classic, you can tell that right away. It's much taller, it's much wider, and it's much more powerful. The KitchenAid Classic runs at 250 watts. The KitchenAid Professional 5 Plus runs at 450 watts. The KitchenAid Classic is 25 pounds, but the much more substantial plus is is 30 pounds, which is important to keep it balanced on your counter when you have huge loads of product inside. And speaking of that, apparently, I have yet to test it out, but I'll make sure I tell you when I do, it can make, with its fancy dough hook, power knead, KitchenAid calls it, it can make six and three quarter loaves of bread from this bowl, just a five quart capacity four and a half quart capacity. It can hold and bake 10 dozen cookies and it also claims to be able to mix seven pounds of potatoes. I'm not sure why you'd ever need seven pounds of potatoes in your KitchenAid mixer, but by all means you might have a big family get together this summer and need your KitchenAid Pro to do that, such a thing. So it comes with the same items of uh, mixer attachments that the KitchenAid Classic did, but obviously on a much grander scheme. Here's the flat pedal mixer, much larger. We've got different dough hooks. As I said, KitchenAid branded them this one um, a power need dough hook and a regular dough hook to go with the Classic. And then both of the wire whisks are the same. There's six wire whisks for both but again, one is necessarily much larger as well. And much shinier than my other one, since I've been using my KitchenAid Classic forever. I have a new love now, this is very exciting. Addition to the family. And the other thing that is the major difference with the KitchenAid Pro and the KitchenAid Classic is this one is on a hinge system. The hinge, the head moves up and down. And the KitchenAid Professional one, the bowl moves up and down and locks into place like this, there's a little hinge on the side here. And then to get the bowl out, this ha it has a handle which is a nice addition, KitchenAid Classic does not. You just lift up and then pull it out like this. There are, there's a little knob right here to, that attaches right in the back here. And there's two side pieces that sit on these armrests right here. So you have to line all three up. Um, which can be slightly tricky, I've learned. But once you've got them all lined up, your bowl is in there, it's balanced. Like I said, it's a little bit tricky. There we go, but I'm sure after practice, it will be no problem at all. So I'm really excited to do huge batches, especially my cupcake, big cupcake orders that I have for weddings and such, because we do lots of those. This will be able to hold a lot of cupcake batter, and I'm really excited and looking forward to that. Um, one more addition is the little flip top for the KitchenAid attachments. That's just slightly easier. It's really not necessary, but I guess they're expecting you to do more of the attachment work, the meat grinder, the juicer, the vegetable shredder, all of those that I know you can, that are available. We don't have any of those yet, but we might be purchasing some. And on the KitchenAid Classic, that same one is just a twist off, and it comes off just like that. So not as easy as the KitchenAid Mixer Pro, but KitchenAid Classic is great. So my little black classic has been a part of my family, like I said, no matter how weird you think that is, um, for quite some time now. And now I have a new big addition, and I can't wait to try it out, get used to it, and tell you all about it. So thanks for watching our unboxing of the KitchenAid Professional 5 Plus series and comparison with the KitchenAid Classic. Make sure you subscribe to our channel, and thanks for watching, everyone.